After looking at the main components of the Infinity 4000 cover system, we're now going to take a closer look at the control systems and how they work. We have either a keypad to operate the cover, or a key switch, which has three simple connections on the back. But we'll look at the keypad today, and the wiring as you can see. There's also a sensor which detects the magnets which are inserted in the side of the cover for the automatic stops. This sensor is a new type of sensor and it can detect the difference between the north and the south poles on the magnets. Before you had to have two sensors, one for open and one close. Now this one does the whole job. When you insert the magnets into the cover, it's important to make sure they're inserted the right way up, one north pole and one south pole. And they are actually marked on the magnetic strips with some lines just so you can see which is which. The system is fairly straightforward to operate and we'll just power up the power supply and go through it with you. The keypad bleeps then just to show it has power coming to it and it's in a locked state. It comes with the default code of 1234 just to enable you to use it. So we'll put the code in and now the keypad is active indicated by the green light and we can press the cover button to cover the pole. Now as you can see there I had to keep my finger on the button which is a safety feature to make sure you can see the pull cover and as soon as the magnet got to the right point the cover stopped. It now won't go any further. The only operation it'll do now is to uncover. So we'll do the same again. We'll press the button to uncover it. And again as you can see as soon as the sensor got near the magnet the drive stopped. The keypad will automatically lock after 30 seconds to, for no unauthorised access and you can put your own personal code into it after it's fitted. There's full instructions come with it on how to change the codes. The wiring is quite straightforward, it's straightforward colours to colours and if you use the key switch some of these cores aren't connected. You just simply put them in a connector block and leave them at one side. And that was the keypad locking again. So we'll just run through the operation one more time just to show you. To unlock the pad you put your code in, finger on the button and hold it to make it operate. Magnets detected and it stops. And other direction. magnetic strip is detected again and it's stopped. Even if you use the key switch the sensor is still connected because that is your automatic stop system. So we hope that has been some insight into the controls for the Infinity system and if you have any further questions please don't hesitate to contact us.